Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Everly's Build a House. Um, so in our last video, we left off with the guys um, just finishing pouring up that basement. And the next step was to start building the main floor walls. So the steps are pretty much the same that we already explained in vlog four and five. So this video, we're going to cruise through things a little bit faster, just give you kind of snippets of how that went. But it's the same thing. They started by laying out the, the rebar. It was pre-cut to the length of each wall section. So they laid out the rebar and then they started by placing corner blocks. Uh, once they had all the corner blocks placed, then they started with the straight sections. Um, our main floor is only a six inch core, not an eight like the basement. So really that's the only difference from the basement. Everything else is the exact same. They got the rebar snapped into place on the top and the bottom of the first course, tied it with loop ties, and then started the second course um, just staggering the where the horizontal rebar goes. The first one goes on the most inner slot, and then on that same course, the top row it goes on the next slot over, and then on the second course, it'll go back to that inner slot, and then on the third course, it would be on the outer slot, and back and forth, back and forth, and that just leaves a channel for the vertical rebar to be inserted um, when the walls are all done being built. So check it out. This is us uh, building our main floor of our house. Hi, this is the roof of our house. This is what we got so far. And I was just doing balsas. My mom told me to video. And uh, I'll see you. Peace out. Up. I got a heck of a mess everywhere here. We were working upstairs all day yesterday and it's like a bomb went off down here. So we'll get this straightened out. But I'm just getting to site here. We spent the day yesterday doing our door bucks and our first two courses. My buddy Brandon was here helping. That was pretty cool. We got uh, we got some really big windows. This is the living room here. That's the little dinette, and that's like the formal dining room. And they're big. They're big, tall windows. There's the box for them there on the floor. So we're gonna get them put in today. We quit early yesterday. It was like a hurricane here. It was like 70 kilometer an hour winds, and I was nervous. Like we could have. It was still warm. It, was, it wasn't bad, but I was just nervous, uh, just dad and I handling these things in that wind. 
So we waited for today. And we'll get on that today. All the trees are starting to wake up here. This is our this is our view of our yard from up in the house. Everything's starting to wake up, starting to turn green. Looks a lot better. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Should be good. back at the house. I'm gonna keep uh, doing some rebar and start the fourth course today. But uh, in that crazy wind, we got this sort of all laid out here. Now you can see where the rooms are gonna be and what's what. We got the door box in, no windows yet. But... So, let's keep going. The wind has chilled out a lot. It's still windy, but it's not near what it was yesterday. It was kind of funny. I was cutting blocks over here, and I'd cut one, and I'd bend over to put my saw down, and my block would blow away. A couple times I had to fish it out of the basement because it just took off on me. It was a tough day yesterday, but we got through it. Let's keep going today. So this is the rebar under the windows. This is how we do it. The engineer calls for two of these horizontal bars and these corner bars and this will I guess that stops the wall from kind of flexing this way around the window and it's like this under every one of them there's two bars horizontally and there's going to be two vertically here on either side of the window and doors are done the same and they'll have those corner bars at the top of the doors not at the bottom but they're all done like that these, uh, some of these are dowels that are poking up from the from the pour. Which one? This one here is a dowel, and this one here is just an extra piece of rebar we stuck in. And there's the corner bar again, as per the engineer. It's windy again today. We just can't get a break this year. It's ridiculous. Looks like there's a storm blowing in. Guess we'll see. More of the same, two horizontal bars, corner bars, the verticals will go here. And that's that. Keep stacking higher today. Fry, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Haven't given an update for a while because I'm always watching kids and they can't come up here. Well, except for Bryden, but give me a tour. There's our front door, our dining room window. That's uh, off the garage into the back porch. Kitchen. Office in the corner. That's the door that goes to the screen room. that goes to the uh, back patio, living room window, and that's the door that will be in our master bedroom. And then we're missing a window in our master bedroom. That, I can't remember. 
<laughs> that's a window over the top in our suite. And that's a window in our, what do you call them, water closet, toilet room. And that's the window in our main floor bathroom. And then the kids' windows. Hey, babe. Hey. Okay. How's it going? <laughs> Good. Mama Shafo. It's Mom's first day up at the working at the house. First day without kids in months. Thank you, grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> Almost done the fourth course. We'll be tying rebar soon. Coming along. Lots left to do. these corners you could really see how those bars are, are spaced out see this one goes on this web and the one below it is inside so you can see how those the rebar will fit right down in between there it's really slick I don't know how well you can see that in this video here but pretty cool <laughs> them for joint. That easy. But all our, our bucks are in. Look like little porcupines sitting up here, but those nails are there to hold it. Once the concrete fills in around there, that holds that buck from ever moving out. Got the scaffolding all built, ready to rock. Last course, we're starting today.
progress update. Got all the window and door box in. And the sixth course. A couple blocks over the windows to finish. And then put rebar in, tie all the rebar. Let's see if you can see our view. Hi, Brian. That's downtown Regina right there. So close. <laughs> well, we did these a little different this Dang time. Sorry. Right. Chill now. We did these a little different this time. Those holes we did at the bottoms of the bucks, they gave us a little grief. So this time we just cut them wide open. That's why we could make sure. Like we got them full on the last pour. It's just it was tough to do. Other than that, it's just kind of more of the same up here. Getting there. Getting there. Well, a little update. We are nearly done the main floor. All we got left is the, the little four inch, what do they call them, height adjuster blocks. Just to add an extra four inches to the, the ceiling height inside. We've got our little protection board on here. This isn't actually a membrane. It is, but it isn't. Um, our designer called for a protection board of some sort before we backfilled, just to prevent, you know, sharp rocks or, or anything else from poking through our, our membrane, <clears throat> making a hole. So he recommended a few different things. We could have used pressure treated plywood, but it's COVID this year and it was 90 bucks a sheet for pressure treated plywood. So that was totally out of the question. So he, uh, our supplier recommended this stuff and you could actually use it as the membrane, but we're just kind of using it as a little protection board. So we kind of have two membranes, which, you know, what the heck, why not, right? Um, I gotta do a little bit of shoveling, a little bit of cleanup here. The guys are coming to backfill tomorrow, so I need to. These rocks don't do much good this far away from the house, so I'm gonna shovel this all up there, get rid of this concrete, pick up all the garbage, all that kind of stuff. This is gonna look really, really different around here after tomorrow. This is all gonna be backfilled, this is all gonna be graded correctly so that the water runs away from the house, not to the house so I'll kind of take you over to the back door here if we look out the back door here you can see past the garbage I'll get down low but all of that dirt all needs to come out you can see how high my truck looks over there so that's all got to go down so there's probably four feet of dirt to dig out all through here and make it all slope down that way. So, yeah, it's gonna look very, very different here after tomorrow. I'll show you then.
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't bad because it's not that, that long. It's not even pulling itself down. No. Oh, no, that's right. It's bound buoyancy. <laughs> You probably have to you know, push it down here. Yeah. Oh, that boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, trap. <laughs> Keep going. It's almost done. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You got to push this one down. It's usually, you're trying to hold them from going. <laughs> Shut up. That was an easy one. <laughs> well, we're about to get our special rocks into the wall. Got everybody gathered here. We got Uncle Adam and Auntie Jordan and JP and Grandma Rhonda and our three kids are here. So we got some special gemstones all with all different meanings that we're going to put in the walls because tomorrow we're pouring our main floor walls. So we have rose quartz. This one this is black obsidian. We have amethyst. We have peridot. Botswana agate. Selenite. Black tourmaline and citrine. So these are the special gems that we're going to put inside the walls of our house for all different meanings. <laughs> 